got a new shirt out, guys, on teespring.com for a limited time only. Now you can get the Polar Bear Jimothy t-shirt and or hoodie edition, whatever you like. It's absolutely sick. As you see, we took the Polar Bear mask that I wear in Grand Theft Auto 5 and actually made it into an awesome shirt with my logo on it. I think it's pretty dope. Thank you so much for your time. Check it out, teespring.com slash jimothy2. Available for a limited time only. Roads? Where we're going, we don't need roads. Yes, oh my god, I found one of the best glitch ever, Grand Theft Auto 5 Edition. In today's video, we're going to show you a secret easter egg that Rockstar included in the game, which actually allows your cars to fly! Fly fucking cars in Grand Theft Auto! AKA, the greatest easter egg of all time. Everyone's been looking for this glitch all year long since the game got released almost two years ago. It's absolutely amazing that it came to fruition. Rockstar devs shine their light upon thee, allowing me to find this super amazing easter egg. So what you're gonna want to do is have a Zentorno in your car line up, Marty. And what you have to do at this juncture is simply drive it off the Del Perro Pier very quickly. Note what I'm doing when I do this. What you have to do is hold down the D-pad and get ready to switch to single player before any car destruction notification pops up. You want to switch over to single player right away. And now you'll glitch out the game a little bit. It'll take a little while to restart. You should be in single player now after a few seconds. Once in single player, you want to quickly hop back on to online mode. It'll take a few minutes at this point to get back on. Uh, the game's actually recalibrating what you just fucking did to it in online mode. Once you're in a public session, what you want to do now is make sure you buy your car back from Moore's Mutual Insurance. This is pretty key. And at this juncture, instead of having it delivered to you, you want to pull up your sick-ass phone, iPhone 6, and simply go to the internet tab. And now what you have to do is buy a Dundreary Regina for a modest $7,000 and have that replace the Zentorno you just played Titanic with. Once this process has been complete, you'll note that your Zentorno is now erased from existence and your Dundry Regina has taken its place as rightful heir to your garage. <laughs> now what you have to do is quickly get in your Dundry Vagina and simply drive it down the Del Perro Pier like we did last time. This suicide run's gonna be a little different. Actually, it's not. What you wanna do is hold the D-pad down as you get close to the edge and make sure you're hovering over one of the characters as you drive off the pier, quickly go into single player mode before any of the notifications appear and you should be okay. I shall I'll state this one time and one time only if you accidentally do it after the notification appears that you've destroyed your car in Omar's mutual some insurance what will happen to your goddamn account is absolutely unfathomable you'll break the easter egg glitch good for you you fucking weirdo why'd you have to ask that question to me no one asked me anything once you have completed this step successfully and not failed it, you should be in single player mode. Now you want to quickly go back to online mode. You'll be in public lobby. No big deal. And once you're inside the public lobby, what you want to do at this juncture is call up Moore's Mutual Insurance and be sure to have them reinstate your glorious Dundreary Regina. Greatest car in the game. After this process has been completed, hater! What you have to do is go on to your online aspects of your phone, aka the internet. And once you're on the internet, you want to quickly go over to Super Auto, whatever, no one cares. And on this page, you have to go down and find the Zentorno and buy it in any color you like. It doesn't matter. It's all good. Now, you have to buy it and have it replace the Dundreary Regina. Essentially erasing the old Dundreary from existence. I already did that reference. Fuck you! Did it twice. Now at this juncture, you want to take this same Zentorno and drive it out of your garage peacefully. What you have to do is quickly go into the start menu, into the settings options, and actually turn off your whole HUD display, including the maps, GPS route, 
All that shit has to be turned off, hater. So you won't have a map, but it's not a big deal because your car's going to do something crazy. Now, at this point, you want to drive your car back to the Del Perro Pier and drive it off the edge. But you have to attain top speed, so you have to do it. You have to back up pretty far. And once you have a straightaway, hold down the throttle. You should attain top speed around where the Ferris wheel is. And oh my god, when you fly off the pier, instead of driving into the ocean, you'll actually gain flight controls at that very instant. As soon as your car is lost, touch of the ground, you actually gain flight controls. You can spin out a little bit and start flying away from the goddamn ocean as a start. And now you got flying cars! Mwahaha! In Grand Theft Auto! I have the best vehicles in the game! Mwahaha! Look at the peasants below as they drive! What does that feel like to be driving a four-wheel car? <laughs> that being said, I hope you found driving cars. What can I say? It's flying fucking cars!